In this video, I'm going to solve this question. Before I start solving this question, I would like to tell you that if you need a list of questions related to probability with step-by-step -step solutions, then you may have a look at the link provided in the description below. All that said, let's get started with this question. Consider the type of clothes dryer purchased by each of five different customers at a certain store. And there are two types of clothes dryer, gas or electric. In part A, we are given that the probability that at most one of these purchases an electric dryer is 0.428. And we have to find the probability that at least two purchase an electric dryer. So to solve part A, first of all, let us write the sample space of this experiment. As you can see here, this is how the sample space of this experiment looks like. Now note that in this case, I have not written the sample space in terms of outcome. I have written the sample space in terms of events. So the sample space consists of these six events and there are no other events that can happen. So the first event is that no customer purchases an electric dryer. The second event is that only one customer purchases an electric dryer and so on. And within these events, you will have many outcomes. So for the illustration purpose, this is how I'm going to write the sample space in this question. So because this is the sample space and we know that the probability of a sample space is equal to one. So that means the probability of the sum of all these events is equal to one. And now note that we are given in the question that the probability that at most one of these purchases an electric dryer is 0.428. So that means we are given that the sum of these two probabilities is 0 0.428. So this is 0 0.428. Okay, because the sum of these two probabilities is the probability that at most one of the customer purchases an electric dryer. And we have to find the probability that at least two purchase an electric dryer. So that means we have to find this probability. So the sum of all these events is the probability that at least two customers purchase an electric dryer. And now it is very straightforward. We know that this is equal to one and this is 0 0.428. So that means the required probability, that means the sum of probability of these four events is equal to one minus 0 0.428. So that means the required probability is equal to 0.572. So this is all for part A. Now let's move to part B. In part B, it is given that if the probability that all five purchase gas is equal to 0.116 and if the probability that all five purchase electric is equal to 0.005, then we have to find the probability that at least one of each type is purchased. So let's call this event A. So I'm saying that let event A is that all five customers purchase gas and let's say that the event B is the event that all five customers purchase electric. And we have to find the probability that at least one of each type is purchased. Now note that the event A and event B are mutually exclusive event. So A intersection B is equal to phi. And if any of these events happen, that means that all the five customers are purchasing same type of clothes dryer. And we have to find the probability that they purchase at least one of each type. Now it should be quite straightforward. So basically we have to subtract the probability that all the customers purchased same type of clothes dryer from one. So that means we can say that the required probability, required probability is equal to one minus the probability that customers purchase same type of clothes dryer. And we know that this probability is equal to probability of event A plus probability of event B. So we can write that this is equal to one minus probability of event A plus probability of event B. 
and this is equal to 1 minus 0.0116 minus 0.005 and subtracting this we get that this probability is equal to 0.879 so the probability that at least one of each type is purchased is equal to 0.879 and this is all for this question